Hello, this is Rebecca Wengel and April Troglauer, back again with a Flippity PD. Today we will be exploring how to use Flippity to increase student engagement and understanding. Flippity is a website that provides Google Sheet templates for a variety of games, projects, and instructional material for both teacher and student use. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Let's, now let's go ahead and start exploring Flippity. Now let's talk a little bit about Flippity. Did you know that over 1,200 students in our district alone like Google Sheets the least? Well, Flippity can help us with that. Flippity is a website used to create engaging games, projects, and instructional material using the Sheets template. And it also can be used for student use, for the students to create a variety of projects to showcase their understanding, and learn sheets along the way. And how do you think that we do this? I'm going to turn it over to April so that she can show you guys a few examples on how you can use this to engage students. Thank you, Rebecca. Let's jump on in and get started with Flippity. So here are some steps that we've come up with to help your experience with Flippity to be successful. First of all, you are going to want to choose the project from Flippity that best fits the information or the activity that you want students to do. Secondly, read all of the instructions on how to manipulate the Google Sheets template. Thirdly, make sure you have all of your materials together if you're going to incorporate Google Docs, images, links, slides. Make sure all of that is together before you get started. And then go ahead and start manipulating the template. And finally, we are going to publish the Google Sheets to the web and that will give you a permanent link where you can come back to this review game or project over and over. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's Flippity. You can see on the website that there are so many options. There are tons of games, uh, manipulatives, board games, timelines, uh, progress indicators, badge charts, word clouds. There is a lot of resources here. So you will first want to choose what project is going to best fit your information. Let me show you what a completed project would look like. Here's a matching game that I made for my students as we're learning the parts of the instrument. This is great because we can see an image and match that to a vocabulary word. So students can click on a card and then match it to its correct vocabulary word and it will turn green when it's done. So this is a fun way for students to start putting together images with vocabulary words. This was easy for me to create and this is also something that students could create. So let me show you the process. If we come to a matching game, I like to start with instructions of course. So here's instructions on how to create the project and then always at the bottom there's some FAQs. These are some great examples of how you can expand these simple games to be a little bit more complex. You're going to want to start with the template. Here is uh, what that looks like. It's always going to prompt you to make a copy. Once that comes up, you can see here in terms, these would be where I would put the vocabulary words. And under alt terms, you can put the definition, you can put an image, whatever you like. Uh, one thing that's great about many of these templates, especially this matching game, is you have the opportunity for it to read in a number of different languages to the student the vocabulary words. So very, very helpful for our students. So you can see that option here. Uh, at the bottom, you have some other options as you're manipulating the game. You can change the color of the cards. You can change the text. So if you want to give the students a directive when they finish the game, you can say, come check in with the teacher for your next activity. For here, you can have a memory game, which is just basically matching, or you can do a matching game, which is what I have done with the vocabulary words and the pictures. You can change the background. You can also change the font to a few different options that they have here. So once you have your terms and their matching terms or whatever the templates are asking for, you are always going to publish to the web. So we're going to go file, publish to the web, and then you're going to click that green publish button right there in the center. Once you've done that, 
where it says get link here at the bottom, you're going to have a permanent link to your exercise, your activity. This is a great way for students to share their work with you. You'll just get a link for that. Or you can send this link out to students. So um, I hope that um, Flippity becomes something that you can incorporate in the classroom to help you engage your students. Just some tips um, for success here. Flippity has a ton of choices. So as you're looking at the different activities, think about um, giving the students a list of projects that they could create. So the matching game could have very easily also been the flashcards activity from Flippity or even there is a crossword puzzle. So I could have gained the same information. Do students understand the um, the images matching with the vocabulary word? I could have gained that same information by students creating flashcards or creating their crossword puzzle. If you're using bigger projects like timelines where you can insert Google Docs or Google Slide presentations, make sure you have all of your materials together and ready to go. And of course, think about how you are going to share these projects with the students or how students are going to share their projects with each other. Are they going to exchange links so that they can study for a test? Um, using someone else's uh, matching game or flashcards. Think about how they're going to share those. Those will impact the students' choices for sure. There are some other great activities on Flippity. Three that I love, a randomizer. I'll show you that in a second. There's a progress indicator. You can track students' progress um, or students can track their own progress towards their learning goals. And also, of course, a random name picker. And we know we need those a lot in the classroom. So let me show you a randomizer that is great in my classroom. This is uh, for orchestra warm-ups. So if we're going to start with scales, um, I have the scales that they know, octaves, rhythms that they're familiar with, and then tempo markings. This helps really um, bring a little bit of fun and break the monotony for our warm-up exercises. So you just spin the wheel. And so we'll play the higher octave of the C major scale, four quarter notes per pitch at 110 beats per minute. So this kind of breaks that up, gives us a little bit of variety in our morning warm-up. You can also just spin one wheel at a time. Um, if you would like to do that, builds a little bit of suspense for the kids too. So I hope that that um, becomes something that you can use in your classroom as well. Thank you so much for your close attention. I'm excited uh, to introduce Flipperty to you and I hope you enjoy using it in your classroom as much as I do. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Rebecca um, or myself and we will be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.